to your Vedic Lunarscope for today, the 9th of October, 2015. The moon today is in the early portion of Virgo as it makes its way through Purva Palguni Nakshatra. Sometimes we become really accustomed to making do with what we've got. We become like a professional at <laughs> just making do and making the best with what we have, right? So, you know, I'm saying this because at the moment you're likely in a position where you've been making the best of what you have and making do and even potentially doing a little bit better than making do with something which is seemingly small. You've been able to take your resources that are at your disposal and make, uh, you know, make good with them. And that's something that's very good. But the trouble is, what you have at your disposal isn't very much. And you're recognizing that if there were more in the way of resources on offer to you, whatever those resources may be, I'm not just talking financial resources. I could be talking about having um, the resources at your disposal to um, make a better life for yourself, whether they are spiritual resources, emotional resources, physical resources, you know, all of the above, right? You recognize that if you had a little more in the way of those resources on offer to you, then you might be able to potentially make even better. And the truth of the matter is that you would be able to. So what's stopping you? Because something is definitely on offer to you. There are more resources on offer to you. Well, it seems like one part of you is afraid of losing face. Um, making an adjustment is going to mean, in your particular eyes, as we've been talking for the last couple of days, that, you know, well, you're going to have to swallow your pride. And that doesn't necessarily feel uh, quite so wonderful for you. You'd have to make a sacrifice. Um, you can make the adjustment, but it's going to mean that you potentially lose face. But what good is keeping face if the face that you are keeping is a false face because you're having to so drawn through a set of circumstances that don't really make you happy, right? And you're pretending that you, you, know, you're, you are able to get by with it and, and that you know, you'd much rather just um, keep, keep face and so drawn with what you've got rather than going, okay, sure, I may potentially lose face, but what I can gain in the long run might be even better. So again, what good is keeping face if the face that you're keeping is ultimately a front? Um, when really inside of yourself there's unhappiness, you're not happy with the set of circumstances, and sure, you would like for things to be a little bit better. It's better to face up at the moment and potentially you know, lose face, um, and in doing so, gain composure, wisdom, um, grace, and potential prosperity. And all of those are on offer to you at the moment. If you're willing to make a small sacrifice, which ultimately means, well, rather than putting all of your feelings in one place, putting your pride in one place, right? And just dropping the pride, uh, accepting uh, something that you haven't really mainly wanted to accept and integrating that and moving forward. And in doing so, you're likely going to find that there is more on offer to you so that you can make better rather than just making the best of what you've got. Purva Palguni is a karma-driven nakshatra. And sometimes our desires can get the best of us. And with Purva Palguni energy today, well, that, that is actually part of the equation. Your desires are somewhat misplaced. Your desires are to uh, have a certain type of appearance, but that appearance is not really, um, is not really real. It's not valid. And um, as we know, with any type of front like that, you can only go so far with it. Purva Palguni is also... Um, partially related to what I like to call the sacred contract, which basically means working in harmony with yourself. And right now, it's quite likely that you're not really being your own best friend. You're not um, making better, you're just making do, and you could make better. And, and so it's, it's wise to, uh, to make better, isn't it, right? The uh, lunar tithi today is Krishna Dwadashi. It's the 12th day of the dark half of the moon. And with this particular energy, if you open up 
if you're willing to listen rather than to close your ears to a certain piece of wisdom which has been on offer to you, well, then you can do even better than what you have done before. The Solar Lunar Yoga today is Shukla, which means bright. The application here is not as in shining, although that is one implication of it, but the other implication is in being bright inside of yourself and growing and learning from um, where, what you've been, well, for lack of a better way to put it, hiding from. So you don't need to hide any longer. You need to face up to the facts, make a willing transition, make a transformation, and ultimately benefit from something that you have been resisting. And if you could use a little bit of help with that process, I'd like to tell you that I do offer several different tiers of astrological service, and they are available through the astrological services page of my website. You should see a little eye in the upper right-hand corner of this video. If you click on that, it'll open up two cards. One will take you to my astrological services page, where you can look at the uh, various services that I offer. The other card is about my uh, predictive course, which starts this Saturday, the 10th of October. That's uh, tomorrow. And on this course, we'll learn how to, um, over three modules of this course, we'll learn how to narrow a window of time down to a day or two and predict events down to within a day or two. The first module of this course will focus on techniques from the Jayamini branch of astrology. And so we'll be beginning to learn how to narrow that window of time, and learning some excellent techniques from Jayamini astrology, which will show us um, how to do so. So if you'd like more information on that course, uh, that is available, through, again, through the little eye that you see in the upper right-hand corner, and you should see another card that will take you to the course registration page, and you can read more information about the course there. That's going to do it for your Vedic Lunar Scope for today, the 9th of October, 2015. Until next time, please take the very best care of yourself. Bye.